Amen. 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 I got to show you guys. I got to. I got to. Are we done? Yeah. I want to show you guys something. You see this king? See his name? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, this is true. This is this is where we get our word and our and our knowledge of taxation. If you look at the history of this, and Don pointed out very beautifully that the, they with the money was being diverted from the kingdom, and these people were stirring up stuff with the kingdom because their finances were being attacked because these Jews were getting together. Same thing when when uh, when Jesus Christ was thrown the denarius with the symbol of Caesar on it. They were trying to trap him in the same way because they were trying to get people to rebel against him because of his uh, 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 drawing people away from Roman rule. And the first century church, when it says that they had everything in common and they, those, they, they were buying and selling and they were laying their money at the feet of the apostles, that stirred the devil's kingdom up something terrible because once believers start coming together around the word uh, in unity and they start throwing and, and supporting the group in order to become stronger so that nobody lacks, it throws the devil in chaos because they're becoming not only independent in their thinking and, and who rules them, because in this case, it, of course, was Yahweh, and in our case, it, of course, is Jesus Christ. But financially, the, the, the greatest, they come together with uh, sharing and with putting their wealth and, their, and what they have, however little, it doesn't matter what it is, it can be a nickel or a million dollars, you give as God lays on your heart. But once you start doing that type of sharing, it blows away. God blesses the people's finances, he blesses their food. I mean, it just blows everything away when the unity of faith comes to that point. And this whole letter is huge on that. And this in taxes, I love it when Don reverted back to what's going on in D.C. It's always about the money. Exactly. They're persecuted today because they're, they're in their unity how much money do the Christians give to their local churches? And that's all, that drives unbelievers nuts. They, they don't want to, they want their, their, their kingdom to be maintained, their thoughts to be maintained. And when you're throwing your money towards God's word and, and, and preserving it and passing it on to the next generation, it's destroying them, not only spiritually, but economically. And, and that's a huge deal. Beautiful presentation, Don. I, I'm sorry, Thank I had you. to do that because I... I, I no, no, studied. we're into fellowship after hours. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah, I mean, I studied this dude before, and, uh, one of, and one of the biggest things I saw, and I was tying it into Acts and the first century church and, and the time of Jesus Christ and, and how, man, when you start getting believers together... And they're giving all their wealth to the cause, all their extra to the cause. You just, the crazy stuff happens. I mean, people start, the, the word just starts prospering immensely. But what does the devil want to do? He wanted to stop the building. And he did it. He got, he got, he got them stirred up about their money and he stopped the building. And, right. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Um, I had to. I had That's to okay. No, I'm, di I'm just thinking of Acts 19. Great is the Diana of the Ephesians. Great is oh. the of the Ephesians. Perfect. 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 But his and name actually is where we, the, the derivative of where we get our idea of taxation. And later on, that was built into the Roman culture and everything else. It came from our taxes. <laughs> <laughs> or our tax serious. Our is tax he from Austin? Huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Our right. taxes. <laughs> our taxes is from Austin. <laughs> our taxes. Are Austin taxes. Tax serious. That's our tax serious. 
that that, that king ruined generations to come. If Artaxerxes would have been slain by the sword, uh, maybe taxes wouldn't be as bad as they are today. So blame <laughs> on that dude. Well, the Republicans uh, would really be against him. Yeah, yeah. two thousand two thousand four hundred years ago, some cheapskate uh, ruler uh, was worried about his money. Oh, anyway. <laughs> I don't know how I froze, but I froze. <laughs> yeah, it was for quite a while. Yeah, but I know. Your voice was fine. There was yeah. a, I'm uh, just wondering how the recording's going to come out. If it comes out like this, that's fine. I can live with it. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to look at your ugly face. We just want to hear your word. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted them looking at the, um, anyway, not looking at me. I'm not what's important. It's the word of God that's important. Okay, uh, good, good presentation, though. Beautiful. Yep. I love this book. I love this book, man. And talk about the time of struggle. I mean, all, I mean, the persecution these people went through and how they persevered. To and how they stayed focused, the people that couldn't make it, they gave they gave of their wealth to get to, to get it built. I mean, just some beautiful, beautiful principles in here. Yeah, and I like that we pointed out the um, I pointed out those two idioms because because that way I can post on figures of speech. I can post a teaching on figures of speech. Don't let what's his name dominate the whole thing, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> he does a good thing. Though. He does a good job, though. Yep. He's into it. Yeah, Ken. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ken was in the same program Don and I were in. Yeah, he's all over those figures, man. I'm not very good at figures. Uh, the ones I know, I know just because there's rep they're so repetitious, but. But I'm not, yeah. I, I love reading his stuff. Mm -hmm. Me too. The idioms are kind of hard to dig through. Oh, but no. the other stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As long as you understand that there are idioms, and if there's things you don't understand, it might be because it's an idiom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. right. Yeah, that's one of the most solid figures, too. I still have problems. I've, I've, I've read look through a lot of Bullinger stuff and uh, like condescension, I'm having a real problem with that one because God, Jesus Christ represented God. So when it talks about the feelings of Jesus Christ, when it talks about the passion of Jesus Christ, these are, these are qualities God has. They're, they're not condescension. It's not God. Uh, there is, I mean, God giving himself these attributes can definitely be figurative marks, but at the same time, it's you, that doesn't mean God doesn't have compassion. I mean, everywhere it says that we have a compassionate God. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and, and and we've been taught. I think we carried the ball too too far past the goal line. Uh, a lot of places where we, we we still have this thing: God, the Creator of the heaven and the earth can't be touched he's just so far beyond your understanding and and that's not the way he wants himself he wants to that's the way the devil presents him because he's just unattainable you uh you can't go there and now jesus is god so you really can't relate to jesus and then there's saint paul he's a saint a holy saint with the with the halo around his head and then you're just scum you're the worm of the earth and you just have to bow down to these wonderful figures along with the ones we have now, these great men that hear from God so clearly. And it's like bunk. It's bunk. That's, that's what the devil does. Yeah. Yeah, I posted that uh, article today from uh, God on the Word of God Speaks about, that, that uh, you know, 
not much different than we are. Yes. In that aspect, that he has passions and feelings and you know, hopes and dreams. And, yeah. Ex that's just because of all the junk people have been taught. Yes. For years mm -hmm. and years and years and years. And they're, I think we're finally starting to make breakthroughs, a little bit at least, in that area. Yeah. I, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's all about the Word revealing Jesus Christ. And once you get in tune with Him, He shows you God. If right. you've seen me, you've seen the Father, mm -hmm. and and it's just I've got I've got my uh, I've got some company coming this week, and they're very into they've isolated Jesus. They belong to a group that isolated Jesus, and he's up there at the right hand of God, and now it's all us because of Christ in you, the hope of glory. Jesus is on break, but, but and it's such a it's such a and I and I've been there. It's such a, a limited, it puts you in such a limited fellowship because Jesus Christ is the only key to distinguishing which God you're worshiping. <laughs> you get exactly. off on Jesus. If you lose Jesus, then you're, there's no telling which one of those Elohim you're following around because only one of them bound, <laughs> uh, has set his son above everything else. The rest of them are... They, they're just as foul, 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 fallible as we can be. Exactly. You you God wanted... what Dr. Worrell used to say, you tell me what you think about Jesus, and I'll pretty much tell you where you're at spiritually. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Who do they say I am? Peter. That's why I said what I said during the teaching back during the 60s. It was, you know, Billy Graham and Earl Roberts and a few others. It should have been BP Werewolf. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. And there should always, well, and that's one of the desperate things that we don't have today—a good representation of the true Christian, the Word of God. Exactly. It's, just, it's, it's not that it's not there. There are people fighting, but who wants the job? Gee, many Christmas. I don't want the job. I've seen it. Uh, it's kind of like, I mean, it's like, gosh, man, they're. They destroy, they destroy the saint, and they make the devil a god. I mean, they're god. I mean, it's like every good person that steps up to it, they turn him into a mini Hitler or something. And then they're after the word, though. Get the word out. It's all done. Get the truth out. Yep. Get the truth, it's done. Truth will set you free. Truth will set you free. Got to get exactly. that, but this is we got to build the foundation and start building the walls. We got it's got to start. It, I mean, it's got to start somewhere. Again, we've seen some fantastic things in our lives as we were growing up in the Word, and and now there's a lot of schism and there's a lot of problems. And darn it, we can do the same thing these guys did. Mm -hmm. Just start yeah. building Ezra's temple. It, all it takes is. That mm -hmm. unity of purpose. Yeah. So. It really is something because uh, I don't argue with pe these people anymore. Let them say what they want to say, and I'll dwell on the 99% of the word that we agree on rather than the 1% that we don't. That's right. mm -hmm. And with other Christians, who, like the guy you were talking about earlier this evening, you know, it's 95%. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. But there's still much more that we agree on than we don't. See, and the, and the killer is, uh, yeah. is the necessary, there's, there are, I mean, there are evil people out there that are sold out to, to, to lead people astray. And we, we have a certain obligation to stand against that because pulling down strongholds in every name that exalts itself above, I mean, it, we, we have a certain obligation to do that just so that the people 
the people that are that aren't sold out, that are that want to be their best, that want to do God's will, have the opportunity to hear. And 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 I mean it's a it's a 50-50 deal, it's a wash is what it is. It's no in the hold of, no in the fold of. That's that was Jesus. No, that was Kenny Rogers. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm getting my poker games mixed up. Yeah. Well, guys, it's after 10. Do you want to call it a night or do you want to go on? I'm night night. I got, yeah. a, I got a crazy, crazy couple of weeks. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm, I brought it up. Mm -hmm. I, I got OSHA all the way through the 30th. My sister's coming in town Wednesday. Pray for that. Uh, she's, uh, I want it to be a blessed visit. But at the same time, I know Jesus is going to come up. Uh, he always does. <laughs> okay. So, so uh, you guys wave. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>